Okay, so here we have an oscilloscope to measure the waveform and a frequency generator. They adjust the frequency and adjust the signal intensity. Stronger signal produces higher waves, of course, and then uh, when you ch change the frequency, the waves get closer or further apart. The display shows the frequency, so we don't have to count it. We can actually just see it on the display. So uh, the oscilloscope gives its output to this extension cord and the frequency generator puts its output to the same extension cord. We're using that because it just makes it easier to plug in the Stetzer filter into the other end of the extension cord. And then we can watch on the display to see the effect that the filter has. You can see right there that the signal intensity went down uh, when we plug it in, about an 80% reduction at this one kilohertz frequency. So we're going to check different frequencies and see, see what happens. So now we're changing it to 10 kilohertz. We're just going to adjust the settings here so we can see the waveform better. And there it is. And now notice the height of the wave, 10 kilohertz. And we plug in the filter. And let's see what happens. And there you go. You can see that uh, the reduction is about 95% at 10 kilohertz. So a very good filtering of the high frequency signal. Oh, didn't get a good connection. There we go. Okay, so we'll change it again. Now we're at 100 kilohertz. Adjust the settings so we can see it. There we go. And a nice waveform. 100 kilohertz. And let's plug in the filter. And let's see. Plug it in. And almost complete elimination of the high frequency noise. The so-called dirty electricity. You can see the filter is very effective at this range as well. And now what about at 1 megahertz? much higher frequency. Still we can see the height of the waves there. And we plug in the filter and still good reduction, 90% or so. So you can see that the filters uh, work best over a certain frequency range spanning plus or minus 100 kilohertz. Uh, let's check some much lower frequencies now. Let's see what happens. So here we're going to adjust it and we're going to be working at about 1 kilohertz, 1,000 hertz. So there we can see the waveform, 1 kilohertz. And we plug in the filter and there we go. We can see the reduction, about 90% reduction. Adjust it again, different frequency. Oh, let's try 200 hertz. There's the waveform. And we plug in the filter. Very modest reduction. So you can see that it's allowing the 200 hertz signal to pass. This is what these filters are designed to do. Uh, they're designed to allow low frequency. Of course, we want the 60 hertz signal to come through just fine. So now we go up to 400 hertz. There we go, 400 hertz. And uh, we get better filtering. So as the frequency goes up from 200 hertz, we see that we get better and better filtering. It's exactly the way the device is designed to work. You need to let the low frequencies pass through. 60 hertz has to pass through. And there you go, good reduction, 80% at 400 hertz. So you can see the pattern. Low frequency passes as we go up and up in frequencies. We get better and better reduction. So, in conclusion, you can see that the filters allow the passage of low frequency and effectively inhibit the passage of high frequency dirty electricity signals.